here. I feel like it was gonna be great. What's up, peritos? What is going down, peritos? We are back on the peritos only. I, I don't know podcast. We are recording this now, so we're recording this here and we're live here. And I just wanted to tap in with you guys and see what the hell is going on, but it's because it is going down this Saturday. I'll be in the city of Corpus Christi, the land of the Salinas, Perrito, where I'm going to be doing a comedy show with my boy Jerry Garcia this Saturday at the Mesquite Comedy Club in Corpus Christi. Pa que le caigan. Um, dude, I, I, dude, I just dropped it. That's not me, fool. I swear, fool. That's not me, dog. That's crazy. Uh, I'm going to, you know, we're going to pull it somewhere around here. And that fool is not me, dog. Look at that. That is crazy, dog. You guys just seen it. Big fans from San Antonio tapping in on the live right now. We're going to be dropping this video, the recorded video, today, later on at 8 p.m. on my YouTube channel. So you guys can go ahead and check it out. So if you miss it here, you can go catch it there. Uh, it's at Concrete Comedy. That's the YouTube channel, and it's going down. So it's kind of weird for me to be going both ways. We're going to figure out how to feed, feed this later. We're just trying shit out today, perritos. So... Uh, I wanted to go uh, through some of the comments on my page real quick, dog, because this shit is hilarious, bro. You guys come up with the greatest comments, fool. Like, you guys you guys get down James Brown, fool. Let me tell you. And um, we have a... Uh, okay, here's my Instagram, and we're going to be pulling up... Uh, we're going to be pulling up... You know what? Last week... Last week, we had a good skit, bro. Last week, we had a good skit. It was the one with... Uh, I mean, it wasn't a skit. It was more like a prank, but it's the one with uh, 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 Jose Luis Censura and my dad. And here it is. This is a skit, right? This is a skit. This is the one that we posted. And, dude, some of these comments are golden, bro. Some of these comments are golden. Uh, somebody put... Um, let me see. Si le quieres decir algo, váyanse a la chingada. Los dos papas concrete and the man. Tijuana trips out, though. Uh, your pop's placing the smackdown on both of you, said always evolving Frenchies. Uh... Ah, el Guti, ya, ya te lo torcieron. Ahora no más falta Laura en América coming out saying que pasa el desgraciado. You ain't right, Concrete. That's a good one, though. That was pretty funny, dog. I like that. Some of those comments are crazy, bro. Bro, when you put pops in the, it's easy, easy. Nah, come on, man. Uh, my boy Lorenzo Mendez said, my boy brought out Jose Luis. That was pretty tight. Shout out to him, man. Shout out to my boy. Beto Vision say, wait, I thought Felipe Esparza was your dad. We got to check on that, fool, because I might, I I mean, who knows, fool? Who knows, dog? Uh, somebody put, Carlo, uh, Carlos Ponce said, Pops, Pops was a regular at the Hong Kong restaurant dining in the 80s. I don't know, I don't even know if it was there in the 80s, dog. I don't even know if it was there in the 80s, fool, so that doesn't even matter right now, fool. Not sure if your dad is acting or is he serious? Los mando a la verga a los dos. People ask me all the time, is your pops in on it? Is your pops not in on it? One thing I can tell you is that it's entertainment, uh, but some entertainment could be pranks. Some entertainments could be fake. You'll never know because a magician never tells his secrets. So I would never know. Just enjoy the content. Uh, Eric Lujano said, damn, bro, he reminds me so much of my dad. I feel like my dad fool is America's America's Mexican dad. Everybody that talks about my dad, they're always like, I feel like he's my dad. I feel like he's my dad. Or he talks just like my dad. Or he responds just like my dad. So I think that's cool, man. So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna coin my dad America's Mexican dad, perritos. Uh Tony Nario said, Bro, why are you trying to dime out your pops? Well, you know, you know I'm out here just you know I'm out here doing my thing. Let me see what else we got here. Perru oh, yeah. Perrito looking like 90% of humanity. <laughs> That's fucking dumb. Somebody said I look like 90% of humanity. Maybe I have all the qualities. I maybe have qual Like, do I have the qualities of Lionel Messi? No. Do I look like LeBron? Probably not. But I do feel like I look like William Levy at times. At times, like quickly, if you just... Turn your head like that. I look like William Levy. That's at least what I feel. Uh, let me see. Perrito, I'm dead with this one. Love your pops. Keeps that serious face. Jose Luis, no mames, Perrito, te la bañaste. Damn. And that was Yvonne saying those very nasty words. Uh, let me see what else. These are, man, these are good. I mean, some of these I can't say because they're super explicit. 
Uh, somebody put the typical and the very legendary and famous, quiere llorar, quiere llorar, quiere llorar. Damn, you know, that's crazy. Let me see. Damn, I used to work there like in 07. Crazy coincidence. Uh, not him pulling up with Jose Luis. I'm fucking dead. I have a tendency to think to these things are staged, but I don't know. The dad's responses are pretty real. Then it is what it is, dog. It is what it is. I don't think certain things could be like acted out in a way. I think certain things are, are natural. Let me read some of these comments on the live. Uh, can I get a shout out from me and 91? I'm kidding, fool. Damn, but it's all sad. I don't know. I haven't read what you've been saying, so I, I don't know. I'm barely getting on this. I'm, I'm barely seeing the live, the live comments. Uh, say what's up. Say what's up to Master Ortega. Uh, Master Ortega. I don't even know these two. Uh, Your dad better be getting his cut. My dad gets more than a cut, dog. You kidding me? Hi, from San Diego. What's going on? MacArthur Park in the house. 818. Papa. Jokes are 323. Three, three, three. Uh, what else? Lorenzo Mata. Ex-player of the UCLA Bruins. is on the live right here. Shout outs to him, bro. So let me see what else we got. Jose Luis. Jose Luis. We're talking about the skit with Jose Luis, and I'm reading some of these comments. Jose Luis. No quiere decir nada más? De veras? Papi. Vayanse la chinga los dos. Bro, that looks like a that looks like a wish app, Jose Luis. No, that's actually Jose Luis. Uh, we didn't get a, a, a fake one. We didn't do none of that. That was really Jose Luis in the video, and we actually dropped part two of that video just yesterday. So if you guys want to go watch that and comment on that one, go do that now, perritos, so you guys can see it right there. Because pops was reg pops was a regular, well known at the Hong Kong back in the days. Jose Luis better better be asking him some tricky questions. Get the truth out. I don't know if my dad will ever break his um his silence. Ahí te la jalaste. <laughs> Time to do that. Your jefe is a damn great actor. If I didn't know who you who you both were, I would have thought this real was drama. Like even if it is fake, maybe not. Why would you say that? Why would you why would you ruin anyone's surprise, right? This is the guy that like there's a surprise birthday party, and he's the first one to scream, surprise, and then, like, fucks it up, right? Because he didn't wait for everybody else. You look like everybody else but your pops. Well, my, 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 my mom's side has very strong genes, bro. So I, I, I think I look like my grandpa and my grandma on my mom's side. My sisters look like my dad's side. So there's that. What else is in here? Let me see. Finally, subtitles. The Wettos can watch. Yes. So... I didn't put the subtitles. Instagram decided to put the subtitles on its own, and I didn't stop it. Uh, before, I used to, like, take them off because it didn't really subtitle correctly. It didn't really translate. So I took those petals off, and it just it didn't look right, dog. Mm, let me see. Um, Pops wasn't having it. Yeah, those are pretty good. You know what's official when Jose Luis pulls up? Hell yeah, bro. And in fact, me and Jose Luis have been doing shows together. We're not together. He'll do the first show. I'll do the second show at a comedy club. And it's been working out, man. People usually stay for both shows and have a great time. Let me see what else is in here. You need to connect with Maury Povich. Uh, which was the one that passed away? I, I don't remember. Was it Maury or was it Jerry? One of those passed away, right? One of those passed away. Rest in peace, whichever whichever one passed away. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not really too sure which one it was, and I can't look it up right now. I'm using this phone, I'm using that phone, and we're recording this, so I can't stop this and just get up and it looks weird. You know what I'm saying? Like it looks it just okay. So Jerry, Palm Springs G. So Jerry, 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 Jerry's the one that passed away. Jerry Springer. So then I should contact Maury Povich. Then okay, very good. Hilarious, your dad and your, your dad technically work together. How cool. Me and my dad have always worked together. Fixing cars, putting up walls, building houses. I don't know. We've been doing a lot together, though. It's my birthday. Shout outs to you. It's your birthday. <clears throat> did you get your bag back? I already explained that on yesterday's. Uh, I did like a full on 40 minute explanation. People were mad because I lagged it to get to the point. But the point is, is that we're good. Everything's good. Everything's good. All right, let's move on. 
Pinche gente, ya ni la chinga, Jose Luis. All right, so let me go to another another skit. What else did we drop last week? Uh, you know what? Let's talk about this one, the homie streaks. The homie streaks is the homie. Uh, he's not my buddy, but how many of you people actually buy like calzones before shoes? Uh, because they, they, I, you know what, dog? Like I'm always on the road, right? I'm all, like I be on the road, dog. And if I'm gone on the road, if I'm on the road for say a weekend, right? I'm gone Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Come back Monday. That's three days gone. Come back the fourth day. I at least have to take five to six pairs of underwear for any kind of mistake or any kind of emergency. I figured two underwear per day, one for the morning, one for the show, and then repeat the next day. So I don't know how someone food can have, uh, how do you say this, shit stains on your underwear. And then not only that food, but they're like ripping. And then to still have the audacity, bro, to sag, that's wild, bro. That's diabolical, dog. And then to still, like, to sag and then have a short shirt, dog, where people can actually see your canela streaks, fool. You know, it looks like he was, like, Picasso with, like, his shit on his pants. He had, like, a brush. It wasn't, like, a little stain. Out. That shit was, like, seven-inch stain, fool, just streaks and then, like, holes. Pobrecito, way. Maybe we should find that guy and try to get him some underwear. I would love to find that guy and say, hey, dog, we're going to send you uh, you know, 10 packs of underwears, just let us know, bro. And we're going to take care of you, man. I think me and my people want to take care of you, man. Cause I don't know what you, I don't know what you could be going through. You could be going through something really bad that maybe we don't know, but what we do know is that you need some underwear and we need to hook you up, dog. And we will not be paying for any shoes. You could take care of that. Y'all tripping. It's somebody said y'all tripping. The shit streaks are part of the design. That's pretty good, dog. Part of the design. No mames with yeah, those underbirds are the shit. Jefitas chilaquiles hitting hard, perrito, someone said. Eesh. I don't know, chilaquiles, I've never maybe want to go to, like, to the bathroom like that. Maybe like some crazy chili from somewhere, you know? Uh, beans and meat are really, uh, that's a real crazy combination right there, perros. Bro, how you look like everyone in a viral video? It's not that I look like everyone, it's just that everyone looks like me. Uh, homie needs some fruit of the looms. Forget the Jays. Yeah, dog. I, that's what I think. That's what I'm saying, dog. We got to hook this man up. We got to let him know that we got his back, dog. This is crazy. Uh, Taco Bell trousers in plain sight. I don't know. Taco Bell has never made me feel like that. I'm going to be completely honest. I've never felt the need to go to... Like, I think that's just a long... Jo that's, that, that's a joke that's been around for too long. And I think it's always been, like, for the most part, white people that have felt that Taco Bell is... is, is um, is uh, uh, what do you call it? One of those laxatives. It's like a laxative, perro. But I've been telling people, nah, dog. Uh, let me see. It said, usually, <laughs> Woodstock 23 said, usually I'm 50 50 on these with all your other siblings, your pops keeps hiding. But no doubt about this one, that's you, perro. Never forget MJ. Also has Hanes sponsorship. So while picking up some new J's, get some new Hanes. Don't ever go whitey tighties. Come on, always go black draws, boxer briefs, so you can hide them taco stains. Vatos Locos Forever channel. Don't forget Casita Brown ever. You know what, dog? Like, that's a good... I don't just wear black, but that is a good... I think that's good, dog. You know, so that you don't have shit stains like my boy right here, right? Uh, You can definitely... I think you can definitely... Like, you can definitely um, just wear black. They don't just come in black. When you buy packages at Target or like Walmart, fool, you know, dog. Underwear doesn't just come in black, fool. It comes like in three different colors, like red, green, gray type of shit, you know? So you would have to buy all the colors just to pick out those black ones. I don't know. Maybe I need to search more. Maybe I'm just poor, fool. It could be one of those two. Oh, this one's good, dog. Oh, my God, bro. It's a, he's talking about the actual skit, not the actual guy. But this fool said, not being able to identify your own culo stanking is pub in public is crazy work, perro. I'm not going to lie. There's been times where, hey, I've been working all day. It's been a long day. Might have, might have not farted a couple times in a day. 
uh, something could have happened, a little leakage. I don't know. Who's to, but there's been a couple of times in my lifetime where I might have sat down and then I, I got the little, the little air and I'm like, ooh, that's me. You can smell nalgas. That's one thing that you, like, look, dog, smelling nalgas food is, is not something that, like, that's like smelling a carne asada food. You know what a carne asada smells. You know what nalgas smells. You know what nalgas in your ass smell like. I'm going to be real. When you get that little bit whiff and you turn around and you're like, oh, shit, is that me? What? And, you, and then you do it again and you're like, that's fucking me, dog. I smell like shit. I need to take a shower. I need to stop farting during the day. I don't know what it, whatever it is, but I've let's not and let's keep it one thousand, guys. You guys have gone through the same thing. Maybe you don't wear a little deodorant. You raise your hands to clap, or you wa you waving, but you're like, whoa, whoa, I forgot. What the fuck? No mames, way like ta cabron eso way, you know. But stanky nalgas food are just as recognizable as somebody smelling carne asada from two blocks away on that one barbecue. I'm going to keep it 1,000, bro. You could be, you, for you could be a block away and you could smell somebody's carne asada. And I feel like that's, that's what it is with, you know, with shade stained pants like this, right? Is that homeboy should have been able to say, hey, uh, something's going on. I don't smell something right. Every time I get into the Honda, every time I get into my Civic or my Camry, there's a definite smell that is protruding through my nostrils. Protruding. Being invasive. Getting in through the crevices of your face, of your pinchy mascara. And um, so, yeah, that fool had culo funk and he didn't even know it. And that's crazy because he was so busy trying to buy those Jordans. He's, he's so busy trying to get those Jordans. So busy trying to get those Jordans. That's just wild. Anyways, guys, so just do us all a favor. Do yourself a favor, perritos. Um, check your underwear before you go out. And if you're going to sag, if you're going to sag, fool, like, yes, fool, the first thing you want to do, make sure that you don't have pinchy Carlos Quinto all spread through your fucking underwear. Make sure, no, make sure it doesn't look like a fucking uh, Snickers bar crashed, you know, on your ass cheeks. Um... Yeah, make sure you didn't fucking have diarrhea for that day. And if you are going to have diarrhea and you might fart and let a little whoop. Oh, dude, that's the worst. When you shart. I'm not saying that's ever happened to me at my girl's house in 2010, but I'm not going to say that. Anyways, uh, let me see what else, bro. So, look, I wanted to talk about this movie real quick because uh, this, is, this is what they're telling me to do here at the Trio Studios all the way from Santa Clarita. So I saw a movie this weekend. I actually saw two movies over the weekend. I saw Deadpool and Wolverine, badass movie. I suggest you guys go watch it. I loved it. People kept asking me, like, hey, dog. I saw a couple of dudes at the theater. Like, hey, dog. If you were a superhero, who would you be? And to be like, to be completely honest, fool, I think I would want to play uh, Batman, fool. I think I want to play Batman. Yeah, because he's rich. He's handsome. Look at me. Hello. Hello. Dude, I would make a fantastic Batman. Where are you going? I'm here to save you. See, I even got the voice down. Once you have the voice down, all bets are fucking off. I mean, right now, if they were to take concrete, which we would love, we would love for you to play Batman. I would say, just give me a month to get in shape. You know, give me a month to get in shape. If not, you're going to have to get that suit made. In a 2X, 3X, or whatever. Um, so, yes, but I would, I would definitely like to play Batman. That'll be me. Anyways, Wolverine and Deadpool, shit was hilarious. The crazy, part of, the crazy part about this whole Deadpool and Wolverine shit, let me tell you real quick, guys, is that the main characters aren't even going viral. The character that is going viral is played by Channing Tatum, and that's Gambit. Because he has a crazy ass accent. I'm gonna make a name for myself, dude. You guys, I'm look. Oh, I'd probably be heated too, huh? I'd probably be like, "Damn, homie, it's my movie, dog. How come I ain't getting no love?" Nah, but shit's 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 dope. Shout outs to everybody that made that movie. Really dope. 
Um, if you like Deadpool, if you like madness and a lot of cussing and a lot of crazy jokes, go watch Deadpool. The movie that I'm not going to recommend over the weekend, dog, I saw this movie called The Trap, and it's basically Josh Hartnett's comeback. And spoiler alerts. I'm going to just give you a, a few spoiler alerts. So if you, if you want to go watch this movie with Josh Hartnett, it's called The Trap, directed and written by M. Night Shyamalan. I like his other movies. This one kind of fell flat for me. Um, spoiler alerts. I'm going to tell you what it is right now. I'm, I'm going to just give you, look, I'm gonna just. it's a fucking bad movie, dog. It's just a bad movie, dog. I mean, I was, I was like, me and my boy were looking. What, what the fuck is going on? Like the dude, the dude is a serial killer, and he's trapped inside of a concert. And they already tell you that, like that's the premise of the movie. But I don't know what happened. I don't know if M Night Shyamalan and Josh Harner were in on the joke, but some of the acting and the writing felt a little bit subpar. Uh, M Night Shyamalan's daughter is a singer. And she is a part of the movie as a singer, and she's singing and doing all that. Um, you know how they have Rotten Tomatoes? I'm going to have Spoiled Frijoles. I'm going to give that 40% Spoiled Frijoles. Uh, I would probably not go watch. I'm, I'm going to watch that movie again because I want my girl to see it because I, I, I kind of feel like she thinks I'm hating on the movie. And it's not that I'm hating on the movie. I'm not hating on the movie. I'm not hating on Josh Harnett. I'm not hating on... I, I love Josh Hartnett movies, dog. Like, he made me cry. In Pearl Harbor, fool. I love him in Pearl Harbor, dog. What do you mean? He's made great movies, dog. That's what made me cry, dog. You know how good Josh Hartnett looks in that suit, dog? That's that, that old school... It's, yeah, it's yeah. Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. you never seen Pearl Harbor. When you about to talk about kid actor? Eric, he was already like 28 when he made Pearl Harbor. Did he come out as a kid? I don't. I, I couldn't tell you. I don't remember him being a kid actor. I don't remember him being a kid actor. But the point is, fool, is that I don't hate on Josh Harnett. I don't hate on M. Night Shyamalan, fool. I'm going to tell you that right now. I I think his movies are fucking dope. Uh, but the only reason I would go watch this movie again and why I am going to watch this movie again is to show my girl uh, the atrocity yeah. that happened. Yeah, he was on the faculty. With, with, uh, he was on the faculty, but he wasn't a kid. He was, a, he was, a, he was like 20 years old, fool. What do you mean? 20 a year old yeah the kids are high school kids in the movie doesn't mean he was in high school come on dog this guy this guy it's a high school movie he was a high school kid fool not yeah that's like saying Greece that's like saying everybody in Greece was in high school because they were in that movie fool John Travolta was like 30 years old was he big 20 years ago yeah, yeah, no, dude, he had 40, 40 nights, 40 days, all these, dude, he's had dope-ass movies, dog, but he wasn't a kid, fool, that's like saying John Travolta and everybody in the Grease movie were, were teens, fool, they were all like 30 fucking year old dudes, uh, let me see, what else, what else, what else, anyways, yeah, so, if you want to go watch The Trap, let me know, send me a DM, let me know, like, hey, dog, you were right, fool, I shouldn't have spent my money, Give me my money. I shouldn't have spent that money. Um, but if you want to watch it, I would say uh, it's definitely worth a watch if you want to watch it like on Netflix or Hulu when it comes out. Um, and I don't mean to shit on movies because it's, I want to be an actor and I want to do cool shit. And maybe some of my shit won't be that dope and somebody's going to shit on it one day. And that's fine. If it's whack, it's whack, right? But um, I personally didn't like this movie. Like I said, I'm a fan of M. Night Shyamalan. I'm a fan of Josh Hartnett. I mean, the guy looked amazing in Pearl Harbor. Nothing shy of looking like me if I was in Pearl Harbor. I think I would have done great in Pearl Harbor too, dog. Um, other than that, guys, uh, we got some questions. Let me see if I can answer some questions right here on the live. Did you get your bag back? Yes. Oh, dude, Josh Harnett, Black Hawk Down. Hello. He's a hero, dog. Didn't he look, dog? He looked the part. He was military. He looked badass. Killing motherfuckers. You know, like, he did his thing, fool. He did his thing. And chicks dig, like... Chicks dig them, fool. So if you want to go on a date and you want to take a girl or you want to just kick back and watch a movie at the crib, throw on a Josh Hartnett movie, throw on a, 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 a uh, you know, How to Lose a Guy, a little Ma Matthew McConaughey uh, rom-com. Chicks love Matthew McConaughey, dog. I feel like I'd be a good Matthew McConaughey, Eric. Is that your phone going off, Eric? What's your alarm? It's 420, guys. Um... So I am that I am that guy. For I think uh, I think I would have been great in Pearl Harbor. I think I would have been great in a bunch of films, just like enough like these guys. So let me ask you the question before I get out of here. Let's see. Oh yeah, 
you want to watch a movie with your girl? That's where I was. You want to watch a movie with your girl on the couch? Watch any rom-com with Matthew McConaughey, any movie with Josh Hartnett. Uh, watch some, any movie with, well, uh, what's that guy, the Joker that killed him, uh, that killed himself, that died of an overdose, I believe. I'm sorry. I forget his name, man, but, you know, unfortunately he passed away or something like that. Drugs. Uh, no, not how King Phoenix, bro. That's the new Joker. I'm talking about the Joker from the other Batman movies. All right, so let's see. Just watch your big boy podcast. Thank you. I appreciate you. Let's see what else I can, uh, Josh Hartnett, ladies. Yes. Watch Good Girls. See, there it is, ladies. Watch Good Girls. Is Josh in there? Is Joshy Josh in there? Oh, Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. There we go. Uh, hey, what was the girl in that movie, uh, Just Dance or something? No, not, no, not Just Dance. Because uh, my girl always clowns me, bro. But I think that girl's hot, dog. I think that girl was hot at the time. Uh, Julia Stiles. My girl thinks I'm tripping. Uh, I, t I, I thought Julia Stiles was hot at the time. Julia Stiles. And she was in that movie. What was it called? Uh, no, 10 Things I Hate About You. She was in that one. And then what's the dance one? Is there a dance one there? There should be a dance one where she's like dancing hip hop. Yes, Julia Stiles. She had a big movie. It was like about dancing. Save the last dance, bro. When she when she's like doing the hip hop dance, <laughs> you know, and like this black dude likes her, but it's like a war between white and black love, and it's like it's crazy, bro. It's like, come on, guys, it's a great movie. Are you kidding me, dog? Save the last dance. She's pop locking. It's beautiful. I thought she was pretty at the time, so my girl be tripping, dog. She says no, she's not. She's not cute. I thought she was cute growing up. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't mean Jessica Alba. I don't mean Jessica. I think Jessica Alba's cute. It's, it's, that, that's cool. But I was like, I was like, oh man, Julia Stiles. My girl likes to clown on me because of Julia Stiles, dog. But she thinks, or she thought at the time, and and no disrespect, brother. I'm just saying, like, Polly Shore. Like, never in a million years that I think my girl would be, like, head over heels over Polly Shore, dog. I think probably if, I mean, I think they did meet. I don't know. Maybe, I I think, I think she could have dated him. Who knows? That's crazy, right? That's crazy to think, dog, that Polly Shore and my wife could have, like, dated at one point because she liked them. That's crazy. Every time I think about it like that, I just want to, like, get mad and just rage and hit walls for, you know? Uh, he's funny. Oh, uh, see, like, that's why she's with me, dog. I'm funny. I'm not the best looking guy. Like, I'm not the, guys, I'm not the best looking guy, right? I'm, I'm like a nine, right? I'm like a nine. I'm not a 10. I'm a nine. So, <clears throat> Polly Shore, that's, that, that's what she like. And I like Julia Stiles. I think, pff, there it is. I, I think, I think those two canceled each other out. I don't know. Is that what it is? Polly is hilarious. I love Polly Shore. And let me tell you, I love Polly Shore, dog. I love Polly. Fool. Polly Shore had nothing but banger movies in the army. Banger. Uh, what was it? Son-in-law. Banger. Uh, what was the other movie? Um, what, 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 what was it called? What was it called? Encino Man. Banger. Was he in Airheads? No. He wasn't in Airheads. Biodome. But I feel like he should have been, no? Biodome. Biodome. Banger. Nothing but banger movies, dog. So I'm not, let's not, we're, we're not going to sit here and say nothing bad about Polly Shore. Because there's nothing bad to say. Like that fool's, and you know, like he's been attached to comedy in LA. His mom uh, is, is the owner or ex-owner, I believe, of, uh, his family is the ex-owners or owners of the comedy store in Hollywood. And they put so many people on. And so that's dope. So shout out to the, to the, should I say to the Shore family? Is, is, that, is, is that what you're saying? Sure. To the Comedy Store family. Why won't we say that? Encino Man was a banger, though. Encino Man was a banger, dog. Encino Man was a banger. Biodome. I've been fucked. Yeah. Um, so anyways, what else, guys? Uh, let me see. A goofy movie, if you count the voice. Those are nothing but bangers. In the Army was a banger. Polly is the weasel. He's the best. He's one of the best. He's one of the best. So what else? What else? What else? What else? What's up, perro? Hey, concrete. Hope you're good. I'm I'm fantastic, perro. I'm super good, my G. 
Uh, let me see what else. The Weasel, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to answer a couple more questions. What would you rather watch, Blood In, Blood Out, or American Me? Um, Blood In, Blood Out. I think for me, uh, I think Blood In, Blood Out is the perfect combination of, like, culture, uh, seriousness with somewhat of realness, right? I mean, it's somewhat, it's, it's I don't want to say somewhat, but authentic, right? And then you got comedy in it. I think it adds like a little bit of everything, you know? And uh, nothing against American Me. I just enjoy watching. I just enjoy watching Blood In, Blood Out a little more. That's just it. But both both of those movies slap, though. You know? When you come into Oxnard, I just did Oxnard. That's not me, Paritos. Can I be an extra in one of your skits? For sure. I'm going to I'm gonna ask, uh, answer one more question. If another question comes up, let me see. Bro, what's up? Shout out from San Juan Capistrano. Uh, English or Spanish? I don't know. It depends on who I'm talking to. Sometimes it even depends on how I'm trying to explain myself. But it really depends on who I'm talking to. Uh, Boulevard Nights or Van Nuys Boulevard? Van Nuys Boulevard. Paid in Full was dope. I like Paid in Full. I thought Paid in Full was a... Yeah, it's fine. I didn't see Paid in Full until like later, dude. I didn't, I, I didn't even... Uh, yo, the McBeef skits are top tier. Thank you, brother. Mi Vida Loca or 187? Um, I think, again, I'll go with Mi Vida Loca just because it just hits more culturally to me. I like that movie better. That's what it is. But I like 187. That's dope. Uh, <laughs> no more locked doors. Yeah, American Me. There you go, guys. All right, guys. Well, that's it. We are recording this one. We recorded this one for the YouTube. So go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube, guys. Go ahead if you guys are here. There's 235 people in here right now. If you guys want to do this after I get off right here, go to YouTube, type in Concrete Comedy. You will find my channel. Go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to post this video up tonight, guys. Thank you guys for watching on the live here. I appreciate you guys. I love you. I'll see you. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'll be in Corpus Christi this Saturday. Corpus, uh, Corpus Christi this Saturday at the Mesquite. Comedy Club, get your tickets, link and buy right now. Paritos para que le caigan. Come have a good time with me. Next week, I'm in Indianapolis on the 14, St. Louis on the 15, 16, 17, and 18. I'm in the city of Atlanta. So get your tickets. All the cities are up there. Uh, I love you guys. Maybe I'll go live later on tonight, but more than likely, I want you guys to just go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and we're doing this shit daily, hopefully, man. All right. I'm trying, guys. I know we're just busy. We do a lot of shit, but. I'll try to be uh, live here as much as I can. I'll see you guys at Peritos. Amanos. Peace. Peace.